Hi, I'm Bob Walzik, a product manager for the Chevrolet Tahoe. Now, Bob, this is a hybrid vehicle we're in. Correct. This is Chevrolet's new two-mode hybrid. And you were just telling me that I'm in hybrid mode because... Yes, you just started the engine, and now that uh, they did a full system check, you're actually in auto stop, which actually means the engine has shut itself off, and you're currently on full electric power. And I can see that right now instrument panel. On the tachometer, correct. And your air conditioning is still running because this vehicle is running off a 300 volt air compressor. So the air conditioning runs off the 300 volt battery. And your power steering is a four, off a 42 volt system, again, running off the 300 volt battery pack. That actually shows how the uh, power is getting to the wheel. Right now it's in pure battery power, so the vehicle is totally running on battery. And it can do that up to around 30 miles per hour. Now it says I'm, uh, I have a V8 engine and I'm getting 99 miles to the gallon. Well, right now the, it's saying 99 because it's actually not registering because the engine isn't running. <laughs> if you've accelerated and asked for more power, the vehicle switches from hybrid power, which is a combination of gas and battery, and eventually it'll go to pure gas as, you, as it just did now as you're requiring more input. Now, we're in a Tahoe? You're in a Chevy Tahoe, 2008 Chevy Tahoe. And this is the hybrid. Compare the numbers on a Chevy Tahoe 2008 hybrid versus a regular internal combustion engine. The non-hybrid uh, Tahoe today uh, with a 5.3 liter V8 gets 14 miles per gallon in the city and 20 on the highway. The new hybrid that we're in today will be getting 20 miles on the city, which is a 40% improvement, and 21 on the highway. Overall, it's a 25% improvement over the non-hybrid model. And what's the difference in cost? We haven't released prices yet. The cost, however, will come in within the uh, within the uh, Tahoe lineup, so it won't be more than an LTZ, but it'll be somewhere in the middle. And that's the same goes for the Yukon. It will not be priced above a Denali, but it'll be in the sweet spot. We'll have pricing probably sometime in October. The Tahoe Hybrid is equipped standard with uh, remote start. However, when you do start the vehicle remotely, the gas engine does run, so you will be using fuel until you get in the vehicle and actually start driving. At that point, it'll go into hybrid mode and you'll use electricity. But it will start in gas and it will stay in gas mode until you enter the vehicle. So, so Bob, it, this Tahoe, there are many different uh, models of Tahoes. How, uh, is this going to be a separate uh, model itself? Yeah, the Tahoe Hybrid is what we're going to be calling this one. It'll have specific hybrid badging and it'll have a unique powertrain. This particular model has a 6.0 liter, 332 horsepower engine that's made it to the two-mode transmission, a hybrid transmission. And that, again, is the entire package you get. So you get a hybrid model and powertrain comes with it. Now, do you get horsepower off of the battery as well? Uh, you do get some horsepower off the battery. We are not using that in our ratings. So the 332 horsepower is from the 6.0 liter engine. And how much do you get off the battery? Um, I believe there's about 20 horsepower per engine or per uh, electric motor because uh, basically what you have is two electric motors in the transmission but because you don't always use them uh, we felt it was best to rate just the engine. And the, your two mode is city and highway correct? Well the two mode primarily can be viewed as uh, one mode for city, one mode for highway or what I also like to say is light loads and heavy loads. So if you're trailering you'll typically be in the in the second mode uh, but if you're in city traffic to, uh, to stop and go you're primarily in the uh, one mode or the first mode of the system. Now on the exterior is there any difference between the hybrid Tahoe and the internal combustion engine? Yes, we did a lot on the exterior. Uh, predominantly what our goal was to offset some of the weight of the batteries and, and some of the other uh, transmission components. We have a lightweight aluminum hood and aluminum lift gate, but also in the front, if you look at the, rear, uh, the front fascia, that entire fascia is unique to the hybrid uh, and the grill as well. It's maximized for aero and mass. You can see we've sealed up the fog lamps and the uh, tow hook areas, and that's to keep the aero effect and let the airflow just only go through the grill. How, is it heavier than a regular internal combustion engine? No, it's it's within a few pounds uh, of the same. Again, the mass was pretty much taken out. Uh, some of the other features are the lightweight uh, seats. Uh, the seats are lighter and thinner, and also lightweight aluminum 18-inch wheels as well. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you. You have to put the key in the ignition and actually start driving. It, it, 
But what happened is this has remote start, so the remote start button, in fact, we can demonstrate oh, if you yeah. like. If you hit the remote start button, the vehicle will start up like our, all of our vehicles do, but it'll be purely gas mode, so it'll act as a non-hybrid at that point until you enter the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, then it'll act like a normal hybrid. The point, though, is that's a feature, it's a, it's a custom feature for customers, however, they need to realize they will be using more gas when they start that because the vehicle does run. And a lot of people in the... In the north, when it's really cold, have remote start? Uh, it's not only in the north, it's actually in, in the warmer climates too, because your air conditioning will turn on as well. So what it does is it, it picks the the most ambient correct temperature, and it'll set that either way until you enter the vehicle. 